Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Alan Paul once again. Uh, voice is a little bit rougher this morning. I am hoping and praying that I'm not coming down with something, but uh, usually what ends up happening with my voice is as I come down with a cold or something along those lines, I voice gets a little deeper. So if you're having trouble with that register, please adjust your uh, <laughs> please adjust your audio accordingly. Okay, so what we're going to do today, this is our regular playthrough, of course, and we're going to do a little bonus side thing here where we're going to try to get a settlement. Now, let's take a look at the log real quick. Planet in Distress is the name of the mission, and it says investigate the planetary distress signal, but you'll notice it says restart mission using nearby structures. So what ends up happening is as you're going through your journey, if you're in the Euclid galaxy, and you go all the way through, you get this mission, and then you go all the way through, and you go way far away from that particular system. Or, you go into a new galaxy, as you do at the end of the first regular mission playthrough, you can you get the opportunity to restart this mission over again, in order to look for something closer by. So, that's what it's trying to tell us to do here. So, let's be clear about where we are, first of all. So we are in this system here. It's got four planets. Oh. Yes. And I happen to be on this bountiful one, uh, as you can see right now. Now, it says bountiful, but it's actually kind of a paradise planet. We have a damp planet, Quackmire. Yeah, we won't go there right now. And a frozen one. Now, none of these planets are really that terrible. You know, we had two really kind of damp ones, kind of like humid, and that's about it. And then we got one that's frozen. It's cold. Um... The ones I really don't particularly care for are like the radioactive ones and the toxic ones and stuff like that. They get a little bit tough to deal with. So we're going to try to restart the mission in our own system. So let's see what, what we have happening here. So the mission's restarted. Incoming message. So if we get in our ship, there it is. Let's go ahead and answer the message, message and see what we get. Ah, pathetic, and I'm going to think he's saying interloper there. Something Viking will not be halted. Warriors to blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Can't really tell you exactly what he says. Though the transmission is infused with static, and its alien speech garbled, one thing is unmistakable. This life form is in great distress. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. So we're going to input this distress set of coordinates, and we're going to take a look at this settlement, if you will. The transmission is pre-recorded. Hologram fades as I shut down my starship communicator. Their coordinates point to a nearby planet. I was hoping to point to the same planet, but we don't always get that way. So let's take a quick peek. Let's see where it ended up. You just want to look at the symbols around you. I've got so many symbols around me right now. It's kind of hard to see what it's looking at. And I'm not seeing it right now. That appears to be. Hmm. All right. Let's jump on the ship and take a look, take a look. Maybe it'll pop up after I get out in space. Okay, you see anything? I'm not seeing anything. That's always pretty cool, right? Anyway. Let's just keep circling around. I'm not seeing anything pop up. I wonder if it's being obscured by the Sentinel. Let's head towards the space station. Maybe we'll get this to restart one more time. No, we're not getting anything showing up. Alright, let's take another look at this. There's our base. There's our freighter. There's a big green ball behind it. <clears throat> I'm literally seeing nothing. Let's head over here and see if it makes any difference. <clears throat> I 
and you hear me clear my throat a few times, I'm very sorry, like I said before. That's not what I was trying to do. But let me just take a look in here anyway while we're at it. Well, I'll be. Look at that. It's sending me to another system. Aha. Well, you know what? Let's go there. Because, first of all, one thing I'm liking about this is it's a Viking system. And see, the emergency broadcast repeater's there. So it wasn't in the system I was in. Fascinating. That can happen sometimes. So it points you to a nearby system instead. Uh, commercial, but the commercial value of this system is very, very good. It's a three-star system. So that's good. The system I'm in is also three-star. But, I mean, let's give it a shot. There's only a few planets there. Let's take a look. I wondered about that. That was interesting. So we all learned something along the way. And again, I want to thank everybody who subscribed. I mean, it's, again, overwhelming. Everything that's happening. So it's really cool. See what we got. It's pointing us over here at the ringed planet, I guess. Wow, it's like literally right in front of me. Which is a good thing because literally right behind me should be the old space station. So that's also a good positioning. What kind of planet do we have here? It's a hot planet. Okay, I don't mind that as much, to be honest. That's good. Let's go ahead and head over there and take a look. Now here's the good thing about these settlements is you don't have to choose the first one. Okay, there is a trick to this. Basically, you do not accept the settlement. Once you take a look at it, you get an idea of what it's about. You don't have to accept the settlement. Now, you see what happened here? Is when it procedurally generated this settlement, it literally carved out a rock to place it down. This is pretty wild. Kind of like the idea because it's actually pretty funny. You can see what I mean? Literally carved out the rock. That is pretty cool. So Agarax Falls is the name of this settlement. Now there is one system you can't get settlements on. Unfortunately, it's the switch. They haven't done it yet. Now whether they're going to add that to the switch later on, I couldn't tell you. Well, it's giving us the same music, which is pretty interesting. So let's take a look at the settlement. So as we go over here, we want to talk to that fellow. And he's going to tell us that the place is being under attack. So whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, you got to watch out for that. Don't step into the flames. You can see I had extra damage being taken from it, which can damage equipment on yourself. So be careful of that. Yeah, we're okay. So let's change our unit over to Pulse Spitter because we're going to need that. And let's talk to him. As uh, you are to with to the death. Okay. I guess he means that we're about to be attacked. So let's take out the attackers. Uh, settlement must be the source of the distress signal. What are they doing here? Building a life exposed to the harsh planetary existence battered by the elements. Ask about the distress signal. Before I can speak, I hear the wail of a siren. A hostile buzz descends upon the town. Okay, let's see what we got. Sentinels have arrived. Here we go. As you can see, they're like corrupted sentinels. They're not the regular sentinels that you normally get. And there we go. 
That should be it. Okay, so we saved the settlement. Okay. Picked up some stuff along the way. Okay, press escape to read more. That's not what they meant. There we go. Assist the local settlement. Form key actions. It's an overseer of a settlement. So it's basically telling you you can go ahead and take over the settlement you wish. Now, you'll see I'm also not getting... Why am I getting that? Okay, that's just a regular ordinary sentinel that happens to be on the planet. No big deal. You can let him go. Now, you notice I'm not getting the opportunity to talk to anybody else except for this fellow over here. So we got to go dig him out of the settlement here building. Okay, let's talk to him again. Gra interloper, interloper must. The Viking salutes, pleased to see another join in their fight against the Sentinels. But it is clear they are tired, worn down from the fight. If no one helps them, I fear their settlement will not last much longer. Accept their thanks. Perhaps I could assist these settlers. The overseer position appears to be newly vacant. <laughs> how? Okay. So let's take a look. So here's the decision-making time. You can take over the settlement if you wish. I don't mind. Oop, I missed one. That's odd. Here's the panel that we want to go to. And it's basically just selecting this anyway. So let's take a look. And here's your decision. Assistant interface. Access granted. Current overseer status missing. Deceased. Overseer position presumed vacant. Apply for settlement management. And you can apply to be overseer. So I'm going to hold off for just a second and we're going to take a look. Now, there is no way to really tell if this settlement, what class it is. And I'm not sure where the settlement building would be. I'm not sure if we can actually check that out. So I'm going to learn something new today. I'm going to see where the overseer's office is. And it's actually not going to be present. I think, we, if I'm not mistaken, we have to build the overseer's office in order to access anything about the settlement. So... So let's make believe we're going to go ahead and take it and hope that it's for the best. Now, let's check one thing real fast. You can see here's our restore points, right? And this literally is just a minute ago. So what I can do is, if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to put a save beacon down. Really, I don't even have any sodium nitrate on me, huh? Does my ship have it on there? I think it does. No, I don't. It's got the metals and stuff like that. That's it. So let's... Oh, I've got it. Of course I do. Uh, wait a minute, I don't have a portable refiner either. Yeah, you can see it's been a little bit since I've actually played. I have to get my port. Fine. This is going to become a nuisance. I cannot build within the settlement limits, so I can't even build this sucker over here. Just make sure there's no sodium nitrate sitting right next to me. I see a lot of sodium, but I don't see sodium nitrate. Oh yes, excuse me, excuse me. Let's see how far out I need to be. Should be far enough out now. Missing components now, okay. So, we can now build it. Yeah, really don't have a lot of sodium nitrate, huh? I don't like to waste sodium if I can avoid it. So I always bring it down just a few extra just to get play it safe so I don't uh, burn through it all. Because that extra one blows out, and I don't know, for some reason the OCD kicks in and it bothers me a lot. We waste. Now, I don't need that refiner, as you can imagine. 
Uh, I do need one more. Is it one more metal plate? Two. Two. Do I have enough sodium nitrate? Yeah, okay, good. For some reason I thought I did. There we go. I did the right angle. Now, one thing you can do, too, is you can uh, create a base nearby, so you can, t you know, have some refiners and things like that on the way, but um, you won't be able to mine while you're inside the base limits. Okay? So, why am I doing this? That way we can choose. It's not going to let us build it, is it? That's right. Okay, so where's my ship? There you are. So, we're going to do this. Restore point, okay? And let's go ahead and accept the base. And apply. It's a C class settlement, so we've got some issues with the settlement, so we'd have to build it up. Sometimes you'll come across a B class, sometimes a little bit higher, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the rigmarole, rigmarole of actually acquiring this base. Now, you can see we have got don't have a very big population at all. The happiness is very, very low. They have a very low productivity. The Sentinel alert is kind of low right now. This will climb over time. And every now and then it will hit 100%. You have to go in here, fight off a few Sentinels, and then you can go back to zero status and it slowly climbs back up again. And as you go through, these negative things that are happening will slowly uh, be replaced with positive things to increase the settlement overview of the base, increase the, oh, hopefully over time, increase this up as well. Um, plus you want to try to get the citizen population up. So try to choose things that are more citizen related. Um, but you still want to get the productivity up because obviously maintenance cost here is 234,000 a day. We're only making 155. We're going to be in the negative all the time. It's never going to be in positive unless we can build things up. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and seize the settlement authority and we'll show you how this is done. So. Uh, let's see. So we're going to take a look. We have are being pointed at this building over here, which I'm pretty sure didn't exist a second ago. And it's going to tell us we need to construct the overseer's office. And they need silicate powder. Very easy to get. It's just part of the ground. We have it on us already. We're going to go ahead and supply it. And you can see at the bottom right, it only takes a minute and a half. So we're going to go ahead and wait that minute and a half, and then we'll come back. And in the meantime, we're going to take a quick peek around and see what's here. So obviously, we've got a lot of basic resources here. We can scan things just to get them going here. Uh, I don't see any of the animals. There's any flying creatures here. It's very odd. I could have swore I saw animals a second ago. Looks like we have a building over there in the distance. We're not going to go all the way there. I'm just going to move over here a little bit and see if I can get exactly that animals to show up. Uh, how many? Bottom right, one of seven. There we go. It's taking flying creatures. There's a lot of hot, hot planets do. There's a space station, isn't that funny? Wow, that's pretty close. I feel like you can touch it. Alright. Jet back to it. Yeah, that'll work, right? So if anyone's ever tried that. Okay, and another couple creatures over this way. Now, my settlement should be ready to go on to the next stage. Alright, so we got three of seven, and we will discover all the creatures on this planet eventually, I promise you that. So, let's head back. Looks like it's getting towards nightfall. Look at that. Looks like it's already done. Nope. A little bit further. We need five metal plates. We should have enough. No, I don't think we do. We have two. We can create two more, three more. Nope, we need more. Of course we do. Alright, so we can mine some of the materials here. Geode, good. Yeah, of course it did. Need more ferrite dust eventually. I'm just going to get some more real quick to fill in that spot. 
Ah, you gotta be kidding me. There we go. Now we get some ferret dust. Okay. Just wanted to fill in the gap, because I hate having that gap there, just in case. Yep. Oh, we got the five metal plates already? Yeah, we did. I know, I feel like a fool now. Uh, another minute and a half. Now, a lot of the facilities, uh, pardon me, buildings you're going to build around here are going to take way more time. Sometimes it'll take upwards of, like, four hours and stuff like that in order to, to uh, build them all the way. So, be prepared for that. You know what it tells you usually. It tells you just go ahead and go about your business and uh, come back later. That's basically what it tells you to do. I want to say that the next thing it needs is going to be magnetized ferrite, so... Let's head over to the ship real quick. Because... Uh, it's ferrite. Let's grab it. I could have just hit the X, but I'll just put it there for now. Okay. And uh, we're almost there. It's obviously working on the roof right now. Let's be some ships flying overhead. Or flag waving in the distance, or this guy getting in my way, whatever. Okay, that's done. Three microprocessors, which I happen to have on me at the moment. That should be the last build out. You're a ferrite right now. Doing pretty good on that. There we go. I'm a little bit low on ferrite dust, so we might as well gather those resources while we're standing around and waiting. So this is not going to be a very long video at all. It's basically just going to get you to the point where you understand how this all works. So we're just about there. How much further? 70%. Never actually stood here before and watched. So this little terminal here will disappear in just a moment. And the walls will too. There we go. And wow, they even built the Viking right in the middle of it all. Hello, Scout. Wonder if he existed to begin with. Now, the wonderful thing about this is, it comes fully furnished. You don't have to build anything in here. It has this nice computer bank over here that you don't touch or do anything with. It has your own portal, so you can portal here anytime you wish. Um, from your uh, freighter, from your own bases, whatever. So you can just come and go as you please. And here's where you make settlement decisions. So let me just hit number two first. It's stat settlement status. So it says it's a C. Again, not very happy. Productivity is really low. And you can see the debt is climbing. Time till cleared, infinity. It's never going to be a positive. So you really need to bring this up at some point. So we're going to check out the construction opportunity. So while we want the plus four in, in population growth, we really need to get productivity up. So this begins construction of a bar. It increases their happiness. So which do we want? Do we want happiness or do we want growth? And you have to keep making decisions. Base it on sometimes on what you see down here, like, the citizens have uh, renderings for the development of both of these. Data indicates 46% approval rating for the bar, 58% approval of substantial dwelling. So the, the people, for the most part, are approving getting a higher or larger house involved. As much as you want to do this, it's going to lower our productivity and put us further in debt. This will give us more people here, which may improve, improve our 
financial standing. So remember, we were only making 155 a day. So let's go ahead and go with it. I'm going to go ahead and choose the approval of a large house. And if we leave here, where'd my door go? It should be right here. Okay. Okay, and it shows me where that opportunity is located, where they're building the new building. Okay, here it is. What does it need? Chromatic metal. That's expensive, but we're going to go ahead and support it. And as you can see, it's going to take two hours to build this. So we're going to come back in a couple of hours, and we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Uh, but in the meantime, you'll notice it just gave me an alert that a visitor's arrived at the settlement office. Now, normally I'm used to it not doing that. I'm used to it, you know, if a visitor's going to come, it's going to be usually... Um, after your construction opportunity is complete, but I think they've revamped the system just a little bit. So let's check out who this person is. Greet the settlement visitor. All right, so let's read down here first. Planetary specialist, I guess we'll call him Sean, was found lurking outside the settlement walls. They claim to be a sole survivor of a pirate attack that destroyed their freighter. They ask only for transportation back to the space station. So, should we have him removed, which would be kind of a mean thing to do when he's a stranger in need, or do we assist him by getting him out of the system? It's not going to cost as much to do it. I'm going to choose to assist. Why? Because as I say at the end of most of my videos, never criticize kindness, no, you know, basically do the right thing. Let's go ahead and assist him. Off he goes. So, what did that do? You see, my standing increase with the Viking by three. Yes, we did incur, incur a little bit of debt. It's only a few thousand credits. I'm not worried about that. And if we view the settlement status, nothing really has changed up here at all. Our debt has gone up a little bit, but it was going up to begin with, and that really isn't a big deal. Okay? So, settlement decisions, we can check it one more time. There's no pending decisions. So we have literally two hours to wait before we can get anything done. A couple different ways you can do that. Either you can change the clock on your computer. You can log out, change the clock on your computer manually, disconnect it from the internet, and then go back into the game and play it as if it was two hours later. Or you can just go about muddling the two hours. Now there is one thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> and I may combine it with this video right now, is go ahead and go back to our base of operations. Um, before I do that, and you can see you can go to your settlement. This is the settlement you're at right now. You can go to your freighter, or you can go to any one of your systems, you know, any one of your bases. Before I do that, let me just check the log real fast. The only other things we were going to do, and we do have a freighter we can build out, and I'll do that in a different episode. We can do the industrial surveying, but we need to get equipment to do that with. So why don't we head up to the anomaly, and we've got some things we got to buy. So what is that going to require? It's going to require nanites. We have a decent amount, but we also need uh, buried technology to get that done. So let's see if we have any on our person. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe we do. Then if we do, it's not going to be a whole lot. Well, 26, that actually might be all right. The salvage data is what we're looking for. That might be enough to get what we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and rather than go to our base, let's just go jump out into space real fast and we'll go ahead and uh, pull in the anomaly and check it out. <clears throat> Again, the voice is a little different today, so hopefully it's uh, not bothering you all. Actually, when I release this recording, it'll probably be about latter half of February, since I come out with these videos once a week for the regular playthrough. Um, I don't like them too close together. I used to do them twice a week, and then I decided, no, let's space them out just a little bit more, because I use, I really release several videos across a weekend. So, glorious survivor, huh? Nice. Hey, hey, another, uh, another living ship. A few more of the... Yeah, look. Hello. You're flying a ball. Excellent. I love those exotics. Those little ball exotics. 
So we're going to go all the way up to past Polo Nada. We don't really need to go there right now. I do need to build up my Quicksilver at some point. Hey, while we're here, we've discovered a lot more. So we should really hit up, just remember to do this every now and then, hit up Ares once in a while. When you visit here, you don't have to do it all the time. But if you've been doing a lot of, I mean, moving around and, you know, storing the system to system, transmit your milestone data. Because, yeah, I didn't get much this time. Oh, 100 nanites. I guess I haven't been doing a lot of research on this guy. But, you know, so every now and then you can run across him handing, handing you several thousand nanites. So, you know. Oh, look at that. Settlers, a citizen dispute has arisen. So we should really head back there soon. But before we do... First thing we want to do, first thing I really, really, really need. Hey, let's get the upgrade. We're here. Different system, so we can get an upgrade. And it looks like we're going to fill in that last spot down there. That's nice. And we want to talk to this guy, because I really need to get the exosuit upgrade. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Backpack refiner. Hey, come on, man. Don't kick me out. Let me just take another look real fast. All right, what do we got? Trade rocket would be very handy. Uh, recharging while airborne, that is very handy to get. I suggest you do that. It could be that time that you're falling from the sky, if you understand what I mean, and you ran out of jetpack. Well, you're fortunate enough, there'll be a little puff that you can hit before you hit the ground. So I really de despise the rocket boots. They drive me up the wall. To each his own. Some people like them. I don't. This is for enhanced underwater movement, if you wanted to get that. You can also get these translators, and they can kind of boost your ability to learn more words. Uh, oxygen rerouter can come in handy. More shield, more aeration for underwater exploration. Um, not really interested in getting most of these. I've got shields for these already, uh, but we can add them in later. I'm going to go ahead and get the trade rocket, because it could come in handy later on. Okay, so we have that. Okay, we're done here. Let me get... Uh, is it here? Let me check here anyway, because there is construction things I want to get. And go ahead and stay with me for just a moment. So you see there's a lot of different items I could really use. I could use, really use the teleporters. Um, I think I've got everything I really, really need over here. I would like to get the lighting floor as well at some point. Nutrient processors. See, we did get the Minotaur Geo Bay. I'd really like to get that sooner or later. This is pretty cool, too. The uh, I call it the motorcycle. And an Exocraft summoning station could be very, very handy. Plus, you can get one for your freighter as well. Orbital one. So that way you can pull your, your Exocrafts in anywhere you want. Very handy to do that. Let's see. Everything's open there. These are all decorative. Uh... And we're back to this. Okay, so we do have that. Okay, so we got all these. It wants us to survey so we can place one of these down at one of our bases. Okay. All right, so I really don't need these. Mineral extractors and all the rest of these. We'll get that another time. We could do nip nip buds as well. Very valuable. But contraband, so the costs, it could cost you one day. All right, let's get out of here. I know what I'm looking for now. It's not one of these. Was it over here? Uh, hold on just a second here. I'm forgetting where I'm looking for this item. The surveyor. Right. Of course. Multi-tool. Mr. Research. Yes. Okay. Let's take a peek here. So we need... That is what we're looking for, the survey device. So we need this first. Always kick you out, drives me nuts. And the survey device. Yeah, that time it didn't, right? We could use the optical drill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and learn it because I could really use it. And by all means, kick me out again because I'm not fit finish buying. It's like they kick you out of the store every time you pull an item off the shelf at a grocery store. Hey, I need some mac and cheese, and then you're outside the front door again. 
neutron cannon. Very impressed by this weapon as it is standing now. It's something to look at in one of my other videos. Scatter blaster, got my pulse spitter. Paralysis mortar is very handy. I can really use one of those eventually, but I'm going to hold off on it for now. Really impressed by the bolt caster as well and how well it's uh, it's doing now. Okay, I don't think I really need anything else. Need is the key word here. Anything else right now. We'll get the rest of that stuff at another time. Um, I'm not going to do the Exocraft guy starship. I think we're done here. Let's go ahead and move on. So now we can build these things. Let's actually... Go to our multi-tool. Uh, we never did get the basalt, did we? Basalt, if you want. We're going to go ahead and build this. We need a quantum computer and three magnetic resonators. <coughs> Pardon me. We can make these magnetized and ionized. Okay, good. And we need a quantum computer, which requires antimatter. There we go. So now we can fix that. Okay, good. We have a survey device now. And now we can survey when we get to the planet. So we'll go ahead and finish that out. Now, as it told us, it had a mission for us at the settlement. Let's go ahead and head that way real quick. Wow, it's amazing. I'm looking at the time and I realize it's already been a half hour. The huge portal. We're going to go back to the settlement. And when you come to the portal in the anomaly, by the way, folks, you get to go to some of these uh, featured locations that people have built. They really are absolutely amazing sometimes. So head on out there and check them out when you get a chance. Really cool stuff. Okay, so we're going to head to... You see, I can go back to the, to the space anomaly, too, at some point space no my bases and there's my settlement can't rename the settlement I think no you know what I think I can that's true I forgot about that Okay, and we're here. Where is my... There it is. Nope, that's my ship. Over there. Okay. Okay. So we have to see what's going on. Citizen dispute. Okay. Conscript. Yeah. Asserts machinist... Yep. Has stolen their trinket. Machinist insists it is theirs. Forensic analysis reveals microscopic scratches in its surface as if someone had recently attempted to erase a marking. Cool. So this guy is saying that this guy stole their trinket. He insists it's theirs to begin with. Okay, I'm going to choose Machinist because this it's the unknown outcome that causes us issues and then you get doubt in your community and what ends up happening is the happiness level goes down we don't want that right now we're already low enough as it is so we're going to choose in favor of the machinist and you'll see nothing happened okay you would get a, an alert at the top of your screen if something bad happened so we check the settlement status again no change so that's a good thing we do want it to be a little bit higher, so we'll worry about that later. All right, so we're going to install the personal refiner too while we're at it. Um, yep, I can install technology there. Uh, you won't see it. Did I actually make a mistake and actually have one? No. Oh, ah, okay. Like I said, I'm a little bit off today, folks. So. Uh, I think I'll put it down here. And chromatic metal. What else do we need? I literally don't have enough oxygen. Sigh. Okay, oxygen over there, over there. A bunch of oxygen over there. And you know we've got plenty of plants around here to take out, get rid of their oxygen. It's quite the ledge. Alright, let me go to this one. This one looks like it might be a little bit closer. 
Let's see if we have some plants along the way. Come on, where's our poppy plants? The big cute, yeah, those guys. Triggered them. Uh, where's the oxygen? Not this one there. There should be one closer by. Guess so. Oh, there it is. Okay. Over there. Okay. Kind of not a lot of talking right now. Sorry about that. A little bit off this morning, as you can imagine. Alright. How much oxygen did we get? Enough to build this guy, apparently. Uh, how much do we have left? 78, okay. But I heard another plant. There you are. Hmm, got all of it. We won't take it out because that sentinel will get ticked off at us. There's another one. Great, great place to get these things from, man, because. There you go. See? You're about 80 every time. I mean, you don't have to take the plant out if you don't wish. They will grow back eventually. Well, you're only getting 12 out of them that way. So think about it. It could come in very handy just to take up those pots. Harvest them on a regular basis. Okay. I think we're good. Alright, so we have the personal refiner now. I'll just throw some carbon in there, actually, so we have that ready to go, and that's going to come in handy for us at a later time. All right, so where do we stand here? So what we were planning on doing was to do our surveying. So let's go back to our base. Uh, there. Pre-alpha. Main base. Okay. On our way. It's funny, as I'm sitting here, I'm literally getting alerts from people making comments and communicating with me. It's really nice. <laughs> okay, so guess what? You're going to get a uh, plug on this video, uh, commenter. Uh, the commenter name is uh, Tetsuya Basler. Uh, and he says here, he says, I really hate feeling like I'm correcting every method you used. It's really more my intention to inform you so you can optimize these. I would, uh, I would have much rather direct messaged you, but couldn't figure it out. <laughs> really should watch the whole video before commenting. But with the Sentinels, you can farm the bots that the summoner spawns. True. From Waves 3+, plus, you get two summoners to spawn, which can lead to a pretty busy time, but more nanites. And if you leave the healing bots alive, the summoners will just spawn bots that drop combat supplies. That's true. That's true. I forgot about that. If I can leave those alive, that's a good, good point. I forgot about that. Sentinels also can't destroy your builds. True. Also, that being said, I have a base with a large flat platform, which is what I usually do to fight them on, and gravitino balls to trigger an instant three, three, yeah, the level three fight is what he means by that. Um, you can shoot the capsules to harvest them, so realistically, you can build a base, stand in the center, and murder, <laughs> murder away. I know it wasn't for nanites here, but I wanted to share that info. Absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, and you know what, honestly. This is what it's all about. I keep saying that in a lot of my comments, and I want everybody to be very clear. Let's get the character to look at the screen here. This is what we're talking about, though. This is the interaction we get between people in this uh, community. Um, I think it was Captain Steve on one of his videos 
talking about how he was describing the game to a friend of his and how he, he describes it to friends of his and goes back and forth with it. And they're all like, yeah, but it doesn't seem to be you know, fully built. It looks like it's beta. And he kept saying, it's the community. It's the community that we build on. So that's what this is all about. No, 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 no. Keep those comments going. Um, no problem at all. This is what it's all about. You guys have taught me a lot more than I'm even delivering to you all after three years and 1900 hours of gameplay so yes keep it going by all means um i'm loving it i'm really loving it it's really really fantastic um however let's get back to the mission in question we're just about done so you notice at the bottom of the screen when i'm holding my f button down i'm not just able to scan things and go to a mission parameter but i can now look at gas survey mineral survey and a power survey mode now, it wants us to find an electrical hotspot, and unfortunately, I'm nowhere near one, which would be great if I had the space near an electrical hotspot. So I'm going to just boost away a little ways. Hopefully, I can find something. And we will try to end the video here. So we'll call this Settlement Part 1, since we're about 45 minutes in, and I wanted this to be a little bit of a shorter video. Get way out here. Still no hot spot. Whoops, I didn't charge all the way yet. Hey, I got one oxygen then. Yay! Ow. Dang, damn it. Hey, we got a hot spot. It's a C class, but we just gotta survey it. That's the whole point behind this one little mission here. So we'll get this one out of the way. 300 clicks in this direction. Boink. Ooh. I just found something handy. Since I'm low on oxygen, let me go ahead and gather these suckers up. He won't close, so I'm going to go ahead and keep gathering while he's closed. And then we'll take him out. can't get any closer. There we go. Oh, how come I can't? There we go. What it is is the plants are getting in the way. Even though they're defunct and gone, the plants are getting in the way. Okay. And did I see that right? Did I have a... No, I don't. Okay, good. All right. It forgot what I was looking for. Nope. There we go. Right here. So it's over this way. About 65 blocks. That way. Okay, let's go over there. Shouldn't take much of a boost to get there. Whoop, 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 whoop. I went too far. So basically what you want to do is get within five. Right here. Let it finish analyzing. And it tells you the power levels. Analysis complete. And that should be the end of the mission. Now even a C-class hotspot like this is very much worthwhile. So, see? Industrial surveying complete. That is another mission out of my mission base. The only thing we really have left is to complete the settlers. It, it will never actually be complete it's an ongoing thing that you're going to keep going and going and going. And you will constantly manage it and build stuff up and manage it and build stuff up. But it's kind of a nice side thing to do every now and then to hit your settlement, clear out the sentinels that are attacking, check the status, meet some visitors, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And eventually we are going to complete the base computer archives, which means learning a lot of language and words and stuff like that. So we can see the whole communication that happened all the way up to 100% of the... Uh, archives being fulfilled. 99% I think it is. And that would take care of that. So, and you know, we've already done the Atlas path, but for some reason it will restart the Atlas path. I haven't figured out why. Maybe it's a glitch in the program. I don't know. Um, Space Anomaly just is exploring the new reality and new beginnings is our new galaxy that we're enjoying. So that's where we stand. So we've completed that mission. I'm going to go ahead and head back to my um, base. There we go. 
Um, I don't think we're terribly too far away. How far away are we? At 400? Ah, no, it's just Tom and Jerry all the way there, folks. Do I? Have I? I think I've surveyed all the plants on this planet. Hey, let's get a word. Just hit them on the way past. You don't need to stand in front of them for long. And boost. Through the trees. Okay. Babelfish. I've learned 150 words. What's a babelfish? <gasps> you don't know what a babelfish is? Oh my gosh. Well, I suggest you do some research and try reading books, my friends. Those of you who know are probably laughing as well. And those of you who don't need to check out Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the book. You can watch the movie. The movie was pretty good. Martin Freeman's in it. It was a pretty decent movie. Um, wasn't spot on, but they got some of those characters pretty much dead on. It was absolutely hilarious. It's a great movie. And the book, I think, well, pardon me, books. It's a five-book series. The books were fabulous. First book, at least, is the one you have to read, and you'll understand what a babel fish is. But I'm not going to tell you. Too bad. Anyway, that concludes this episode. I want to thank you for coming. We're going to go back to the settlement in the next episode, and we're going to go ahead and check things out. Uh, I'm probably not going to record it today. I think I'm kind of a little bit worn out, and I've got some video editing to do on a couple other videos. So, again, you're watching this video probably about three to four weeks after I made it. So I should be back to my normal self by then. and Hopefully my voice will be in better shape. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Let's go ahead and do the taglines that I always throw in every, at the end of every uh, episode, or most of them anyway, is to uh, never criticize kindness. Always be kind when you can. And of course, be truthful in all things that you do. <clears throat> Especially be truthful to yourself, because that's where it begins. Thank you very much for watching, folks. We appreciate it. Take care. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.